Welcome back to JP Roofing Fan Nation, the only show dedicated to 412 fanatics like you. We come from all over East Coast, West Coast, down South, and up North. And we each have our own stories about how we became fans. Right. So, for example, if you were a fan raised in Carolina, Puerto Rico, the reason you became a Pirates fan is obvious enough. Roberto Arriba! <laughs> of course! So what was it like growing up in Puerto Rico during Clemente's baseball reign? Let's find out. It was much more than statistics. There was uh, a respect within the community. Growing up in Roberto Clemente's hometown, Avia Johnson caught the great one's passion for baseball and his sense of virtue. To help others and to respect everybody. That's a, a way of life uh, for me, and I try to teach that to, to other generations and within my community also. Then there was one moment that set in stone this way of life for Evia and the rest of Puerto Rico. It was on, on New Year's in my neighborhood. Everybody was having a, a party, a celebration. I still don't remember how we found out about the tragic accident of Roberto Clemente, but I, I do remember that everything stopped. There was no more music, no more celebration. It was like losing uh, um, an immediate family member. But Evia's love and knowledge for Roberto grew into adulthood, and one day she sought to show off her fandom in the form of a jersey. I was struggling finding the most uh, as authentic as possible for my size. She searched all over the internet until she came to the Roberto Clemente Foundation's webpage. I said, okay, well, I'm gonna call, it's a foundation. This gentleman, I, I told him, you know, I am a loyal fan. He was listening to me uh, very patiently. And then uh, he said, uh, I am his son. So Evie, when I told her who I was, then, you know, everything changed. I don't have the jersey, but knowing that I am talking to Luis Roberto Clemente. I told her, I said, listen, you know, we're going to be doing this event in Pittsburgh. It will be great. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I thought it would, it would be a long shot. It would be great uh, to see you there. My husband uh, look at me and uh, I look at him. We immediately agree. And I said, we are going to Pittsburgh. It was like like going to heaven. I mean, this is Roberto Clemente's place. Seeing Evie after we spoke on the phone, it was like so great. And we are very happy that we were able to, to make it and to be there and, and to be part of, of history. This weekend is the Hall of Fame weekend in Puerto Rico, an annual event that continues the Great One's legacy of generosity and celebrates his legend all weekend long. For more information on that, the foundation, and what they're up to, head over to RobertoClementeFoundation.com.